Hello, I'm Gohar Keramian, and during this presentation, I'm going to talk about the Chinese-Armenian relations. Let's start our presentation. So, the Silk Road uh, started functioning during the Han Dynasty when after uh, right after the invasion of uh, Alexander the Great uh, when the East and West collided uh, in the Middle East and uh, India. Uh, Han people traded uh, spices and uh, jade alongside with silk and they bought uh, uh, gold, glass and other noble um, metals from uh, different countries. Unfortunately, uh, uh, during uh, the Arabic invasions, uh, the trade diminished, but after the Manchurian uh, Qing Empire arose in alliance with Mongols, uh, the um, trade uh, uh, started uh, its uh, work again. It's worth mentioning that Armenia had a great uh, role in uh, the Silk Road in its functioning. So on the right, uh, on the left side of uh, the screen, you may see this map that was uh, drawn by uh, Roman historians about 2,000 years ago. And on this map, uh, we may find two ancient Armenian cities, uh, Tigranaker, Tigranaserta, and um, Artashat, uh, that artists Sada, ancient like Roman language, and uh, they were like major commercial commercial um, transits between east and west. So in the fifth century, uh, Devin city uh, came to replace uh, Artashat, and uh, the uh, trade road that linked China, Central Asia, uh, uh, and Iran uh, to the capital of uh, Byzantine Empire, Constantinople. Um, passed through Devine. Uh, I want to mention that you may also find evidence that uh, Armenia, like Armenia and China, were in good relationship in relationship in the Shanghai Museum, uh, where they're like uh, preserved. they are preserved Armenian uh, ancient Armenian coins alongside uh, with um, uh, Chinese and other uh, nations' coins. So another proof that uh, like uh, Silk Road passed through Armenia is this Erbilan caravansary, which is uh, till now preserved. You may find this in Bios Zor, and this served as an inn for uh, traders traveling in the Silk Road. So Chinese Armenian relations continued till now, and China was the first country recognizing Armenia's independence in 1991. And uh, uh, in 1992, pe uh, the People's Republic of China's embassy was opened here in Armenia, and in 2020, this year, uh, another much larger a uh, Chinese embassy was op opened here, and uh, it will soon start its uh, uh, its work uh, in, in in October uh, one uh, in October first. Uh, uh, Tiana Lun, the uh, ambassador of uh, Chinese embassy here in Armenia, uh, met our president, Armenia uh, Armenia's president, and they talked about like our uh, the relationship between these countries. So um, uh, uh, China continues uh, befriending with Armenia, and in uh, 2009, Confucius Institute firstly opened in Asia uh, at uh, Confucius uh, uh, University after Valeri Bersim and the Yerevan State University, uh, helping our Armenian uh, students learn Chinese and then uh, um, participating in exchange uh, program where Chinese people come here in Armenia and uh, uh, Armenian people go to China, study language uh, and uh, develop their uh, Chinese skills. And in uh, 2018, um, a Chinese Armenian friendship school was opened here in Armenia. Uh, $12 million uh, was uh, invested by China to uh, open this uh, uh, school, which uh, will pay, play a great role in uh, Armenia's economic, Armenia's China, uh, Armenia China economics. And we will have like more advanced and professional um, Chinese. Uh, people who will uh, Armenians will speak Chinese language. 
And uh, I want uh, also to talk about the Belt and the Road Initiative, one uh, Belt and one Road. Uh, in 2013, uh, China's President Xi Jinping uh, decided to restart, reconstruct the Silk Road and to connect more than 70 countries, uh, such as Armenia, Georgia, Russia, uh, Syria, Kyrgyzstan, uh, to name a few. Uh, here you may see the map. Uh, so the uh, the purpose of this is to like uh, again uh, have uh, uh, restart the relationship between those countries and in 2015 uh, uh, um, uh, officials from those countries uh, uh, arrived here in Armenia and they held a conference uh, to talk about uh, this, uh, the Silk Road Economic Belt, which will be a great uh, thing and uh, China will invest like uh, 1 trillion uh, US dollars for this. So. Uh, this is the end, uh, and you may, uh, I will highly recommend you to watch Andin uh, Armenian Journey Chronicles if you want to know about more Armenia's uh, history and China's history in their uh, reunion. And here are the links that I use for my presentation, and uh, you may also find another like um, further information for this. And uh, Chinese Armenian Fund is uh, was uh, like uh, reopened uh, in the framework of uh, One Belt, One uh, Road. Uh, for um support to support uh, these uh, armenian chinese relations thank you for watching see you